Today I'm uh, doing a quick review and calibration of a Skosh SPL 1000. This is your uh, basic cheapo decibel meter. Um, I actually got this on clearance at Walmart. Um, they aren't very accurate, especially in the lower and higher range. Um, if you look there, until it gets up to around uh, 55, 60, it says over. That means it's out of its uh, accurate range. and. Uh, Mine was actually way off. It was showing a quiet room at like 63, 64. Uh, normal conversation uh, at three feet is supposed to be between 60 and 65. So um, there actually is a, a calibration screw down in there. That little uh, silver screw there. Right there. Um, if you make micro adjustments with that, you can actually calibrate it. Um, I've done some rough calibration so far. Um, my next one is going to be a power saw at three feet. It's supposed to be 110 decibels. I'm in my garage uh, open, so I don't have any uh, echo. It is kind of windy outside, which is why I came inside. So what I'll do here, I'll set this at uh, three feet there. And then I'll turn on my power saw. So we were right around uh, 108 there. Um, that's actually pretty accurate. It is just a tiny skill saw. Um, it could go up just a little bit. Um, let's try the air compressor. That seemed a little quiet. So we're getting 108, 109, that's technically about right. Um, you know, the, the accurate range of this between 60 and maybe 125 decibels, I haven't actually gotten up that high yet. Um, so at the lower end, you're not going to see a whole lot of accuracy. Uh, I guess a whisper in a library at three feet is supposed to be 30 decibels. Um, quiet room should be, you know, 50 or under. Uh, but... As you can see, it's like once you get down like around 50, it says over, so it's not within its accurate range anymore. Um, I'm going to go ahead and adjust it up just a tiny little bit. Little screwdriver here. And uh, turning it left actually goes up. So I'm going to turn it up. Just a little bit. Actually, it's the other way around. Uh, turning it right goes up. I was doing it, uh, I was watching it before with my hand, but since I'm holding one, one, I'm holding the camera with one hand and doing the screw with the other. So my goal here, I'm going to go for complete quiet, ambient quiet around like 54.
56, 55. There is actually quite a bit of ambient sound going on, but. Probably don't hear that on the camera. All right, let's try that. Three feet. Right around uh, 110, 111 there. That's about right. That looks good on the quiet factor. affect it. I got these air vents right there and the air on the fan there really affects it. So it's uh, it is sensitive to wind and air. So basically it's not not a super accurate device but um, you can get it pretty close to calibrate it to known known sounds like the the power saw at three feet was the the best one I could come up with um, I'm not seeing uh it ever get below fifty but um you know anytime it says over it means it's not gonna be accurate so it's it's got a an accuracy of a uh, normal sound range not down in into whisper quiet in a library range. So uh, that's it for this edition. Uh, this is Creator with Gadget Class.